Freaks, it's your boy Maintain, I'm back with you, uh, George Groves, Carl Frotch post-fight uh, video here, coming to you live from uh, Queens, New York City, baby, and I'm excited because my prediction played out exactly the way that I knew it was, um, what can I say, uh, let's get right to it, George Groves started off the fight, he was doing well just as he did in the first fight, working behind his jab, I think they both used the jab effectively, um, you could even see in the first round, I think it was like the first 30 seconds of the fight, Groves uh, tagged Frotch with a, with a sharp, crisp jab and just like, his nose instantly got red and you can see he was like, you know, he's like having trouble breathing out of it or whatever. But uh, I, I think that he, he he stuck to a good game plan at the beginning, same way he did in the first fight. Uh, working behind his jab, throwing one, two, three punch combinations uh, and then getting out of there. And then the fight just instantly took a turn in the fifth round. You saw it. I mean, it just completely shifted. Frotch just closed the gap and he got George Groves to exchange with him again. And between the fifth, sixth and seventh. George was uh, fighting off the back foot. He was pedaling back. You know, you saw him touch the ropes. He hadn't touched the ropes, I don't think, in the first four rounds. I mean, maybe once or whatever. But he 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 was boxing well, and then and then Frost just you know used his experience and and he got he frustrated George Groves again. I watched the fight, and he did what he did in the first fight, which was I don't know if if you guys have noticed it, but like you know when they tie up, he would he would grab Groves and you know kind of like. You know, hook them, you know, press down on them, put them in a little headlock. Or, you know, when they tie up and the referee would come in there, he'd push his face up like this. And those are little things that, um, to the untrained eye or, or, or fight fan, uh, they don't recognize. That, that frustrates fighters. It gets in their head. Um, and they might not say it, but it does, you know, and it it, it, it messes with them. And, and, and in George Grove's case, he's a young fighter. Frotch had the experience. He knows the tricks of the trade. He knows what to do. And again, you saw about a fifth round, fifth round he started fighting Frotch's fight. And I knew it was over at that point. Um, and he engaged with him. And, and Frotch was getting the better of the exchanges, you know. And you heard the corners telling him, I mean, Patty Fitzgerald, hats off. Patty Fitz was telling George Groves, listen, tie this guy up, you know. Don't exchange with him. Keep boxing. Keep using your your jab. First of all, I don't. The only thing that I disagree with on with Patty is he was telling George not to use his right hand in the first four rounds, which I don't get. But I mean, maybe that was their game plan um, to not wear Groves out so he can last in the later rounds. But um, Patty was telling him, don't you know, lock up with this guy. You know, don't exchange. Move, move, move. And and it didn't happen. Groves just fell right into his trap and. There you go in the eighth round. I picked. I predicted a knockout from the ninth to eleventh. Hey, I got it in the eighth. Um, set him up with a beautiful. You know, he just kind of just threw a little lazy left hook out there just to catch his attention. Um, and Groves did block it, but he didn't hold the. Uh, he didn't hold the left hand up, and and, and Frost just came through with a straight right and good night. That was it. Um, as far as the stoppage, I, I'm already hearing people. Oh, it was another terrible stoppage. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. He looked at him. The guy could. He wasn't even trying to get up. At the beginning, you know, his eyes were all everywhere. I said he waved off the fight. Once he waved off the fight, then yeah, it hit Groves, and Groves was trying to get up. But, I mean, you can see he was on a stool. He was wobbly. They had to put an oxygen mask on him. So, listen, uh, props to props to Frotch and both Groves. They put on a great performance, and, and Groves will come through. He will be a future champion and get his. But right now, he just... Frotch is just too much for this kid. You know, he knows how he knows how to, how to get in this kid's head, and he knows how to fight him. So, um, but yeah... It was a great fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.